that DNA on shows where they investigate crimes and they get little samples of things and solve a crime with DNA. But what is DNA? DNA is a really, really small molecule inside our cell and every one of us has, different, has a different DNA. That's what makes us different. So it's kind of like a little fingerprint like, yeah, inside each and all of us. Yeah, it's like a book. So if you do something and leave a bit of DNA lying around, you can tell who it is because of like their DNA fingerprint. Yeah, and it's unique to every single person. We've got a whole bunch of cauliflower here. Tell me, what's going on with this cauliflower? So we're going to extract DNA from cauliflower. So we're going to extract yep. DNA from cauliflower. This is incredible. This is incredible science right now. So we're just going to chuck in cauliflower in the blender. Okay, now we need so to add some water. About a cup of water? Yeah, just a cup. Yeah. And, and then a pinch of salt. And then into the whiz. 20 seconds and we've got a nice cauliflower milkshake, which yeah. I'm not so sure would taste very good. No, probably not. Oh, lovely assistant. She'll help us strain the cauliflower yeah. juice. Yeah, so we just get the juice. All you want is the good cauliflower yeah. juice out of this, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't okay. think you'd really want to market cauliflower juice. I don't think no. people it's would really nice. buy it at the supermarket no. so much. So we need some detergent. Just, just add a bit of detergent. Why yeah. do we add detergent here? Yeah. Ooh, nice bubbles. bubbles. Just for bubbles. Just to break up the cell membranes. The so cell we can membranes. actually get into the cell so we can get the DNA. Because the DNA is inside, inside the, cell. the cell. We need to break the wall of the yeah, cell. Exactly. And that's what the that's what the detergent yeah. does. Okay. And then just so gently. Just gently mixing yeah. that up there. So we don't get too much bubbles. Into the glass. Okay, and then we're gonna Okay, so that's a cup of cauliflower juice, hopefully with the cauliflower cell membranes in the broken DNA. down. So what's this we're pouring in now? Ethanol on top. So, so that's like get, a pure alcohol. Yeah, that, so you get two layers. And so is the alcohol heavier? Is that why we get two layers? What is it? So it's, it's about density. Density, okay. Yeah, so, and what you get, those white strings, that's your DNA. The white strings in yeah. there are the DNA? Okay, so in order to get some DNA out of the cauliflower, you need cauliflower, a food processor, some water, some salt, some detergent, a cloth, and some ethanol, and you get your DNA. With these seven things, cauliflower DNA will appear magically before your eyes in a glass in a like glass. this. Alright, so we now know that DNA is a really long, stringy molecule, right? But once you've got your DNA out, how do you kind of look at it more closely? You take the DNA and we use little enzymes to chop it up into a variety of smaller pieces. Okay. And then we, um, we mix it with a heavy loaded dye using our pipette. Okay. Just like that. So the pipette's just like an extractor. Just, like just, a, just to transfer liquid from place to place. Yeah. Okay. And what we can do is we can put the DNA mixture into this heavy jelly that we've made, mm -hmm. uh, which has little wells in it. Okay. So I just carefully transfer the loading dye into one of these wells. Uh -huh. Because it's really heavy, it sinks nicely and it fills it up. And when we turn the machine on, an electrical current pulls the, uh, the DNA mixture through this big jelly that we've made. Okay. And because it's been chopped up into all different sized pieces, uh, but large pieces move slowly and big pieces move quickly. Through that jelly? Through the jelly. Yeah. And then you, you end up with a, a, what's called a DNA fingerprint of all the different sized pieces. So these are big ones. Okay. And these are small ones which move quickly. And because your DNA is different to my DNA, when we chop them up, you get a different variety of pieces. So from your DNA, it might look different from my DNA. And this is how you right. tell different people apart. So that's how you get the whole fingerprint aspect yeah, of DNA? This is a DNA fingerprint right here. So whose is that? Uh, it's a secret, we don't know. We have the coded sample. Could be yours.